I feel like we're in Raiders of the Lost Ark or the Goonies, one or the other. Or the mummy. Or oh, the mummy. Oh, you guys. This morning we are stood on the back of a pickup truck heading towards Semak Champney which is the place where they've got caves and natural pools It's a beautiful ride but I think we're all clinically insane I know we're clinically insane <laughs> First emergency of the day, we have a pair of lost flip flops. <laughs> He's going. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks, Jimmy. But after a, oh, a 10 minute drive, we're back to where we started. <laughs> we have new people joining us. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hold on tight. Okay. It's a very bumpy ride. Okay. So after a 45 minute very bumpy ride, we have arrived down by the river. I don't know what you're talking Marianne about. Marianne cheated because she went inside the cab. But to be fair, for you guys back home, we wanted to take, I wanted to take the shots off the back. And it was a 45 minute proper hold on bumpy ride. In fact, it's the most bumpy ride I have ever had in my life. Perfecto. My name is Jose. Ask any question in hand, you can let me know. I'll be your tour guide for all day. You guys gonna be with me all day, you know? Okay, so the first part of the tour that we're doing today, we are heading to the waterfall. And we're super excited. The sun is shining. Okay, so our guide was just explaining that the leaf that he's handed out is actually from the black pepper tree. And actually, when you taste the leaves, it tastes of black pepper. And they use this for a number of medical reasons. They boil it um, to make tea if they have an upset stomach, or they rub it on their teeth, um, like uh, the traditional cloves back home, um, if you've got toothache. And the other thing he showed us was this little pod here, which when you open up, has really red color. And it's actually what the Mayans used to use to um, color the temples and to put markings on their face and uh, so of course Marianne couldn't resist putting some on hers. So off to the waterfall. <laughs> So we've made it down to the waterfall and what a beautiful sight behind us. A beautiful spot for a nice photo and I can't wait to get in the water because it is super hot here. Amazing! It's very cool and I'm deciding whether I should jump.
Okay, so now we're off to the cave. Woohoo! Woo I'm feeling the excitement, people. <laughs> so the fact we're going through a cave in water, I didn't think we'd have to walk so high. So we're stood at the entrance of the cave that you can see behind us, and we're all armed with a candle. Oh. You only lost two people. Oh, okay. Three people. Was it good? Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, they're happy. <laughs> that you're not good swimming, that's like a rope, you can follow that. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely cooler. Ooh. Oh, the water's cold. So we're going a total of one kilometre through this. Are we mad? Okay. It's cool. Yeah, mind your head if you're tall, because it's very sticky outy rocky. Are we crazy? Yeah. It's getting deeper it's getting colder. and cold. It's cold. I'm not sure how I'm going to hold my camera and the GoPro uh, and the candle. What happened? Oh. So here's a tip. Strap your camera to your hand because if you drop it, it's really hard to find. incredibly romantic <laughs> and it's very very cold but, but I'm feeling very alive right now in a cave definitely we've just come up a ladder and the roof was really high and it was very hard holding the candle and the GoPro and my hand is completely covered in wax and uh, we're just about to go down into the next chamber as you can see behind me it's amazing but it's very slippy and taking up the back i would definitely have a head torch actually if, definitely. You, if you have the choice um, i have slipped up once already oh wow this is beautiful <laughs> So we've come to a part where you actually get to climb up either a ladder or a bit of rope that you can probably see a little bit behind me. I'm definitely going up the ladder. <laughs> Okay guys, so how was that drop? <laughs> Are we insane or what? <laughs> Follow the rope. I'm taking the lead. I must be mad. It's terrifying. It's terrifying, it's pitch black. I don't know where I'm going. And now we're just having a nice lunch. We've got chicken and tomato sauce, some pasta, some rice, some salad and stuff. Not gaseous at all. Not much as gaseous at all. Look, ah, maybe, but no, no, maybe not. Not today, maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, I think um, so. So yeah, we're just having some uh, chicken dinner um, in a local comida, and it looks delicious and tastes good. Yeah, it's the best. That caving experience was an experience. Indeed. So uh, <laughs> it's probably the most maddest thing that we've done so far, I think. I think it beats the volcano boarding. 
So yeah, spending an hour going through dark caves, holding onto ropes, swimming, trying to hold a candle and uh, slipping over, falling slipping over rocks. sharp rocks, but it's absolutely beautiful. I don't regret it for a minute and I would definitely do it again. So we're just going on a half hour hike for an aerial view of Champney Semak. Champney Semak. So we've found the pools behind us and we're going to go for a swim. This is actually what it's famous for, this beautiful turquoise water collecting in pools and water falling mm. down. And the water is just like so crystal clear and you can see, you know, little fish swimming and stuff. It looks absolutely so inviting and I am so hot, I can't wait to jump back in the water. And we met a lovely lady, a lady called Claudia from Germany and she said to me, when you're in the water, the fish they do that uh, spa therapy treatment where they take off oh, any norm of skin. Normally you have to pay for that. So I'm hoping they, <laughs> they shed a couple of them. <laughs> there you go. So when you come on the tour here, there are actually lockers where they lock your stuff away while you go swimming, so it's all secure. Semak Chapney actually means underground river because the main river actually goes under these pools and then comes out the other side down the waterfall and all the water in the pools actually comes off the mountains so it's two different water sources how cool is that so this is amazing you can see the river behind us that is flowing so fast proper rapids behind us and it's actually going under where we stood. And the pools here are so calm, it's hard to believe that there's this much water going under you. Breathtaking views. So what's amazing is the number of butterflies that we can see. And there's colorful ones, there's yellow ones I can see in the distance. I'm gonna try and get a shot off for you, but they're just absolutely stunning. So this place really is in the middle of nowhere. Um, we drove for 45 minutes down a dirt track to get here today. And we're just surrounded by pristine jungle, as you can see behind us. But literally, just a stone throws away on the other side are these beautiful, beautiful pools. It is magical. Absolutely magical. Look how clear this water is. Time to jump in. So when you spent the day at the river, which is literally the most beautiful natural falls we have ever visited, ever. And then there's also a changing area just behind me, a nice little hut. And I don't know if you can hear the jungle noises. It's lovely. It's been one of the most relaxing tours that we've ever done. Uh, we actually chose not to go to the Mirador, which is a 30 minute hike up like 650 steps, I think she said. Um, but I, I actually didn't need to do that um, to look over the pools. I thought I'd just get in them. And it was a good call because we've had a lovely time. Oh, 
I've also just been informed by our guide that he's aware of 23 different dialects in the Mayan language. Because I asked, I couldn't understand what he was saying to his friends um, here at the stop station and he was saying they're speaking in Mayan language. He only knows one dialect, but apparently 23. Right because Can you see it? Can I see it? <laughs> Did it work? Of course it worked. Did you put Santa lotion on your face? No. It's going to be there all week then. Oh. Is this time we say happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So we've just had a lovely spot of lunch and now we're going on a half hour hike to get an aerial view of Chem Sem Chemux Sempni. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, start that again. There's daylight. Good job. <laughs> Photo bombed. <laughs> and Marianne's face isn't a bruise. She's still got the remnants of her war paint, and I'm falling over. <laughs> is Jose <laughs> is our guide for today and, he's and this been is awesome this is his Hello. friend Eddie <laughs> <laughs>